Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Again, I'm just, I don't know if it's warmer this year than it has been in the past couple of years, or if it's just me. I think personally it's just me. Um, I have not had to wear a jacket at all this winter. And I think that's because my doctor and I got me straightened out. So real quick before I answer a question that was asked, I want to show you something. Look at that. You remember I had been hit. They hit my box right here and busted all this up and along the edges and everything else. Now this one is slightly off color. You can see it. And the only reason it's slightly off color is I believe it's just faded from the sun. But it's okay. It looks a lot better than that busted box I had on there. And now it opens and closes properly. I've got to figure out a way to fill in these little holes that they have in here. I don't know what these holes are for. But those definitely need to be filled in. And it locks down nice. I have a seat coming too. As you know, my seat is pretty trashed. But I'm not throwing this seat away. This seat will go to a this seat will go to a reupholsterer and get reupholstered. So then I'll have an extra seat. I have an extra trunk because I ordered the whole box and all I needed was the lid. See, I'm smart that way. I, I order separate stuff. I order extra stuff. That way I've got it for backup. Uh, somebody asked me, is it a good idea to have a backup set of dentures? Should I invest in another set of dentures? And honestly, if you can afford to, yeah. Why not? Why not have a spare set of dentures? You know, it's... Um, it's kind of like it's no different than having two vehicles. You know, if one breaks down, you can still get in the other one and go to work, right? So having an extra set of dentures, if something happens to one set of your dentures, it's always nice to be able to just throw another set in your mouth and go on about your business. But there's a lot of us that can't afford an extra set of dentures, and I understand that too. I've been wanting to get an extra set of dentures, but uh, they're... they're uh, well, they're not cheap. <laughs> they're not cheap at all. So I can't afford an extra set of dentures at this time. But that would cause a flat tire. That's not good to have in the driveway. Uh, but yeah, I can't afford an extra set. But for those who can, an extra set of dentures is wonderful to have. It's not a necessity when you think about it. What could happen to your dentures now you could sneeze and blow one of your dentures out on a concrete and break it like i did in my seventh week but you'll learn how to sneeze properly with your dentures over time um, so you won't do that you could possibly bite through something and break a front tooth and in that case they can probably repair that that can probably be repaired or you could be chewing on something and break a denture right in half. I've known that to happen. But again, that can be repaired. So when you think of the cost of having an extra set of dentures versus possibly getting a repair on your dentures, you have to weigh those odds. Um, I was really, really concerned about especially after I broke my bottom denture in my seventh week I sneezed and the denture flew out of my mouth and got broke I was really concerned that maybe I should get a second set of dentures and that played on me for you know about two years two and a half years actually and after that I realized you know what I've had my dentures two and a half years nothing's happened to them yet I doubt very seriously if anything bad will happen to them and if something does I'll just get them fixed or I will worry about it at that point but that's one of the reasons I learned how to eat without my teeth. Well, so that if something ever does happen to my dentures, I'll still be able to enjoy the foods that I'm enjoying now. So, yep, that's my advice. Uh, I hope this video helps some of you. 
I uh, hope you have an amazing day. I'm really excited about the new trunk lid on my bike. It's it's a little faded. It's the, not quite the exact right color. But, you know, from a distance, you really can't tell. I mean, you can. If you look real close, you can tell it's a little bit off-colored. But, you know, hey, it looks a lot better than that busted-up lid I had on there. And I can probably... I bet I could take that lid off and take it to a paint shop and have them match the color of the bike. And then it would be perfect. But I'm not really that concerned about that either. It's an old bike. It's going to have some nicks and scratches and some off-colored lid on it. Drunk lid. Anyway, hope this video helps. I hope you have an amazing day. I uh, Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.